How's it going on everyone? One Doctor Genius here and welcome to another Prodigy video. Alright, over here, as you can see, we've logged into an account and it basically shows this. Presenting Battle Remake, and as you guys can see, it's Prodigy's new Battle Remake, and if you try click on it, it will take you to a screen into a monster battle, so let's see how it is. And after completing that battle and having your pets absolutely wrecked, you guys see, huh, I need to learn about this new battle system and Prodigy. Well yeah, let's just quickly go into battle and show you what this new battle system looks like. As you can see over here, we're going against Illuminates in Prodigy. I believe that is its name, but who knows, right? As you- oh, what? Okay. It doesn't even show us its name? What? It, what? How? Why are these things doing 10 trillion damage all of a sudden? What did I do to deserve this? Alright, so already you guys can see Prodigy's battle system is already like weird off the charts, and let's see what we can do. Alright, so over here we have a... What does the aim mean? Aim excellence. Aim excellence. So I guess the thing which basically has like multiple people selected will tell us who is being chosen, I guess? Yeah. Alright, any... Oh, meaning this... And the Ice Piercer chooses one of the two. And you guys can see basically this is a physical type attack I did assume. As you guys can see by the button on the bottom means it's strong against Astral Wizards. And it seems like the best case scenario would be to attack this Luminate so with our wizard. And unfortunately it doesn't show the pet name which is interesting. But anyways, let's get this started. I'm more... I kind of, Okay, what does that mean by puncture? Alright. Anyways, over here we're just gonna cast one of our spells over here. Resist! No! Okay. Right, as you can see, our wizard is ready. Let's just click on this Luminate over here and cast our spell against it. And that does 300 damage. And as you can see, if you have the right opponent, if you have the right pets against your opponents, they will get wrecked. There's no surviving them. And if you don't have the right pets, well, good luck to you. And if you have pets which are weak against your opponents, oh boy. Um, <laughs> I hope you're ready to battle again. Because there's no winning if you take the wrong pets, okay guys? Like, your wizard cannot win battles w easily. Like, you actually have to use your pets. That is what Prodigy has done here, okay? Right, now, as you can see, this, on the other hand, seems to be a multi-person spell where it selects both enemies. Eh? Where it selects one enemy and basically continues... What? Why? Okay, where it selects one enemy and continuously fires at them, right? What is this? What does it mean by the aim excellent? It's not explaining. Oh! And you guys can see that is the power of critical strikes, right? Critical strikes have become a whole lot more important in game with this update, right? Previously it was like, eh, critical strikes, nothing much. But now it's like, oh wow, we need critical strikes if you're trying to defeat opponents which you don't have anything strong against. Like, it's become like this. This magic system is kind of weird. And as you can see, we only have our um, spell over here and our relic attack over here which that's what I believe it is blaze right yeah no what eh confusion very much I am what ah. right you guys can see they've introduced a new battle system without telling us what the pets elements are or anything they just launched it in and are like well guys figure it out yourselves so yeah, that's basically the new battle system. It's turn it's turn based, but it's what do you call it? Very hard to understand what in the world is going on. And if you check your pet book over here, what you see is all of a sudden you cannot see the pet's elemental spells. You have to go and battle them and physically remember it. Like at least let us like see what elements they are and what spells they have, but no. You are not allowed to do that. Also over here, they do show you the battle scene placements, but do not be fooled. The one in third place will be casting your spell first and will be the first to get attacked. The one in second place, second, and so on. And also, I'm just going to remove this Terragon from over here and put in someone strong who's level 100, so my pets don't get obliterated every 10 seconds. You know what, let's add this in. Nothing can go wrong with this, right? And as you guys can see, we can just collect some flowers over here and go into another battle and see what's up. Right, it did do the update, but literally everything in it, in it is confusing, okay? Alright, as you guys can see over here, we've gotten, we've become, why? What? How? What? 
Do you see how unbalanced this game is now, right? Physical is not too good. It can ju it's just okay. Anyways, as you can see, our Figer spell seems to be fully charged, and they seem to have this, which is a two-person spell. Um, this, which is okay. Poor. What does it mean by aim? Oh, maybe aim tells us like how likely it is to hit people, and power, range, recharge is none. So what does it? Mean? Okay. Claw is most likely to like not hit. Wait, does that re represent like damage or something like that? Let's just choose whirlwind over here. Right, okay, so if it shows two people selected, that means both of them are being hit. Okay, now, what? What is this? Are we going by, what? How is it selecting which person cast their spell first? This is just... Uh, I mean, probably should have just given at least a little more assistance in this. They basically just plopped in the upgrade and are like, well, good luck, guys. That's all. Alright, anyways, you guys can see, it seems like this will basically randomly choose one of them and well right you guys can see also if you try casting the oh okay so basically in the case which it has both of them visible basically both of them I believe both should take uh... eh? what what is this This is just pure confusion. Wait, so who has the multi area spell? Are the, like, do some pets just not have multi area spells or something? What? What's going on? Right, you guys can see, so the Prodigy system is a bit confusing because they've given us literally zero. I'm kidding you. I'm not kidding you. They've given us literally zero explanation of what the system is, what's going on. They just send you into battle and say, figure it out yourself. Yeah, but your wizards don't live long enough to figure that out. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all for this video. I hope you found this update interesting. And, well... <laughs> at least you were able to make some sense of what in the world is going on over here but yeah guys that's gonna be all for this video i hope you enjoyed it found out about this new prodigy i hope you enjoyed it and found out about this new prodigy update yep it's um quite interesting i'd say but a little difficult to understand what's in the oblivion is going on bye thanks for watching